Hi there, chickadees. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Liana. That's Bunny. Let's get into it. So today, my loves, I am going to talk to you about Mintha Pepperita. Ooh, Mintha Pepperita. Okay, you see I'm rocking the green because I had to come with it. This is one of my favorite, <laughs> this is one of my favorite herbs of all time. I got my essential oils book. You can buy this like, I got this at Half Price Books, but it's essential oils by Publications International, LTD. So today we're just gonna talk about peppermint. You heard me, peppermint. And I'm not talking about those yummy little lattes you get at Starbucks. Don't really drink them, kinda lactose intolerant, but I do love peppermint, okay? And I know it's not Christmas, but peppermint is amazing. It can do so many things for you that most people just aren't aware. Now, I have to tell you as a disclaimer, I am not a licensed physician, neither is Bunny. I'm also not a licensed therapist, neither is Bunny. So, <laughs> if you're looking for medical advice, seek professional professionals. Okay, great, we got that under control. Okay, so today, peppermint, I'm talking, and I'm so sorry about that sound in the background. It, they're cutting the grass right now, so. But this is the perfect time, I got the lighting, so you know what I'm saying? Uh, peppermint, though. Peppermint is a beautiful thing. Now, I will say this, if you are <laughs> pregnant, do not, just stay away from peppermint. <laughs> Don't drink it, don't eat it, don't rub it on your body, don't smell it. Peppermint is what we call a stimulant. It's a natural, from the earth, stimulant, okay? It's really cool though. And <clears throat> you can use it in so many ways and I'm gonna tell you all of the ways right now. Way number one. Look at this, can you see it? What is it? What's in there? Ew! Why, why is it that color? What is it? Let me tell you what this is. It's amazing! Okay, so this is essentially just black salt. And this used to have little quartz crystals in it. <laughs> um, and I emptied that out and I made my own, basically, my own um, peppermint nasal inhalant. But I literally black salt with a few drops of peppermint essential oils okay and I put kind of a lot on there like I said you really don't need a lot but I put a lot because I like for it to last a long time now it's better to get a colored bottle like this one is clear as you can see but it's better to get a colored bottle like this now this is the wait there we go this is the peppermint that I use it is called Organic Peppermint by Zongle Therapeutics. And the reason why I got this, I got this on Amazon and I really love it. And I mostly use it for aromatherapy and then as a rub, I put it on my body. But you can also consume this, which is why I got it. So you can put it like in tea or um, anything really that you want to drink. Now I will say, like I said, it's a stimulant. It's very strong and potent. You only need but a few drops. A little goes a long way, okay? Take that from my experience, or you can learn the hard way yourself. <laughs> anyway, so a few things that you can do with it. I put it in a little bit of uh, salt here, coarse black salt. Now you can also use Himalayan salt. I wouldn't use regular plain like kosher salt because um, it's better if the the salt crystals are a bit thick and chunky um, because if it's too if they're too fine it might dissolve a little bit it'll still work but it's better in my personal opinion if it's a bit coarse so essentially you take a few drops I literally carry this in my purse with me and girl let me tell you. I am clinically diagnosed with acute rhinitis. And if you don't know what that is, it's it's essentially like, <laughs> I was about to cuss. 
all of this area is completely like just awful. My nasal cavities are constantly, well they're okay, they're actually really good now because I do a lot of meditation, I take my allergy medicine, I work on my third eye chakra a lot, I use this stuff all the time. But basically, it basically means you get really bad sinus congestion and it can be very painful, it can be, it can really mess with your life. Like there are some days where I just couldn't like get out of bed because the pain was so intense here. I couldn't even think straight, you know, it's like, like someone would ask me something. And I'd be like, like the world would spin sometimes. It was crazy. But anyway, this really helps, especially if you are, um, if you suffer from migraines, if you suffer from any kind of nasal or congestion in the lungs or in the nasal cavities, anything here respiratory, it can really assist in that. If not, I'm literally just breathing in peppermint. And it's kind of like if you eat really spicy foods or something, it's literally, you're gonna feel it. It's gonna go through your, your nostrils and your nasal cavity and it's gonna flush. You'll start getting drainage at the back of your throat. It's gonna try to clean out everything. It feels really good too, to have that all clean. If you're used to congestion, it's really good. Allergy season, boom. Congestion, boom. You got a head cold, boom. You're just feeling a little lethargic and you need to lift me up, boom. You gotta study for a test, boom. That's what I'm talking about. This stuff comes in handy. Now, I will say, because it is a stimulant, it's not recommended that pregnant women or women in labor, well, it depends. It's not recommended for women that are pregnant because it can induce labor or kind of assist in inducing labor. So I wouldn't use it if you are pregnant, but it's also really good if you are a female and you're going through menstruation and you get cramps sis i will put you now you should mix it with the carrier oil carrier oil could be like coconut oil olive oil um vaseline even or sometimes i use lotion you just put a few drops like a tablespoon tablespoon sounds like a lot maybe less than a tablespoon of like lotion or vaseline and then like one or two drops of peppermint and then rub it in the area that's like cramping um rub it where you're cramping and it can do wonders it's like a heating pad but without having to have electricity or a heating pad so there you go <laughs> and you know what too i've been trying to work out a lot more and my body gets so sore my arms and it's almost like i'm having like muscle cramps or spasms Peppermint is really good with relaxing your muscles and spasms. Um, sometimes I use it in my air, my diffuser, just put it in the air. It freshens up the room, brightens everything up. If you are kind of feeling lethargic or sluggish or like your day is going way too slow, sniff a couple of the, the yeah, snorty snorty, some peppermint and salts, not cocaine kids, drugs are bad. No, but like, <laughs> no really, don't do drugs. Um, but like this and peppermint, salt and peppermint, it's, it'll wake you up. So that peppermint can do is if you are, suffer from like IBS, if you have irritable bowel syndrome, if you have, maybe you ate too much during lunch and your tummy's not digesting properly, put one or two drops in like a glass of hot lemon water, gl 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 drink it down. It's going to help work through all of that. It's going to help break down all of the digestion helps with the muscles that your stomach needs to push food through your bowels it's really good for that um if you suffer from flatulence or if you're gassy <laughs> don't worry girl peppermint got you bring your peppermint Okay, I'm good to go. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. Again, this is Liana. Hope you had fun.